Every nigga is a star. Every nigga is a star. <laughs> <laughs> See, when, when blacks are saying the N-word, here comes the whites. Oh, my God, if I said the N-word, there'd be a problem, but a black guy can say it, and then all of us... That's another topic for another day. But I love the, N I love the N-word, boy. I love it. I love it. I don't go around saying it, you know? You never really hear Zobie saying the N-word like that drastically. But once you... Once you start to know your your condition, your history, and your existence, you will know why white people want you to stop saying the N-word. You will know the reason why white people use that N-word against you. And you will know the reason why everybody is afraid of that word. Keep doing your history. Keep doing your, 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 your hard work and you'll... You'll figure it out too. I can't tell you everything because if I tell you everything, you won't believe me. Figure it out yourself. I guarantee you'll love the word as much as every nigga. That's why I like, I know, what the fuck am I, are we doing here? But fuck it, we're here. Other people are, are mad at the Kendrick Lamar album because he's using the end where he started off the, he started off the fucking album. Every nigga is a star. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of the, the old heads, black people, uh, are criticizing him for using that. The N-word a lot in that album. But I'm telling you, yo, there's some there's some deep magic behind that. But I'll let you guys do that history yourselves. All right, we're three minutes in. Square Enix. I told you guys before, Square Enix is the only company. I, I don't let EA get away with shit. I don't let Rockstar. I don't let uh, BioWare. I don't let um, uh, Beth Sitter, I, um, I uh, who else? Uh, who's uh, the cast that made Destiny? Ah, man. Um, I don't let Activision. Uh, uh, none of them. I don't let none of them get away with shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they, if they can make one good game, but if they make a bad game out of that, I say, fuck this company. <laughs> instantly. It's the, I instantly just, 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 just shun them. Like, fuck this bullshit, yo. Damn, that, that Halo company's really... Bungie, 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 Bungie. Fuck Bungie. Fuck Bungie. I can't believe people are actually still playing that dog shit ass uh, game. What, Destiny? Fuck bust. Oh, God. I mean, you people are pathetic. <laughs> I swear to God, you people are a fucking cancer. You people are so fucked up. You guys, these, these are the same motherfuckers that will bash EA, give it, give it fucking awards for being the worst fucking company, and continue to support these motherfuckers with their hard-earned cash. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God. Every single one of you are guilty of this shit, yo. How is it that me, Zobie 70 is the only fucking one, yo? I'm not, I'm not the only one. There are other, there's, there's a guy that I got that notion from. Because like, Capcom fucked me over too plenty of times, but I still fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that's one of my guilty pressures. But Square Enix is number one. I, I give them a pass for fucking me over. You know what I'm saying? I give them a straight. I gave them a straight path to my anal canal. You know what I mean? My anal canal is stretched wide the flip open for them to just insert their um their rape. You know what I'm saying? That's one rape that I will allow. But nigga. When I gave EA a chance with Dragon Age Origins and I went out day one to get Dragon Age 2 and that shit was a piece of shit, I haven't bought an EA game since. What year was that? And I, I never will buy another. They can make Xeno Gears 3 right now. And I say, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> I swear to God. They can make Xeno Gears 3 right the fuck now. Middle finger extended to those motherfuckers, yo. I swear to God. But, you know, I, I'm a man with balls. I'm a man with integrity. I'm a man with intelligence. I'm a man with knowledge. I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? 
Like, I'm, I'm, I'm the definition of a real fucking man. I was raised by a real fucking man. Anybody see that Daredevil shit? And, like, Daredevil was, was trained. His father was a fucking real fucking man. You know, and I don't want to spoil this shit. You know what I'm saying? But, like, watch the Daredevil shit on Netflix. His father was a real fucking man. You know what I'm saying? That's my father. Not only that, I had father figures in my life. And, like, in Daredevil, I don't want to spoil this shit, but fuck it. In Daredevil, a motherfucker who comes in his life is like a father figure to him. You know what I'm saying? So he had two, you know, that's just, that's just Zobie 70. You know what I'm saying? So I just live by the code of integrity. I live the code of manhood. You know what I'm saying? This is just what a man does. I wasn't raised like a, bit, like a bitch like the rest of you motherfuckers were. You know what I'm saying? Half of you were raised by the video games. Half of you were raised by women. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you guys wouldn't really know the definition of being a true man. A woman will give motherfuckers a pass. A woman will, will experiment with things. Why don't you experiment with new stuff, Joby 70? A woman will keep her mouth quiet. You know what I'm saying? No, not all women. No, I'm just saying. The def but that's what a woman's pedigree is. A man is... is, is <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? But hey, y'all listening, right? A man is put on this earth with one goal and one goal, goal intention in mind. And that is to procreate. A woman is put on this planet to receive. A man is put on this planet to give. A woman is here to receive. There's a lot of men out here receiving the anal right now. But anyway, let's get into it. Square Enix, like I said, the only company that can rate me anytime, anywhere, any place is having a um, conference at E3. June, I want to say 16th? When is it? I don't know. It's at, it, they have E3 plans. So, uh, I fucks with Bethesda. Bethesda's having one. Hopefully, we can get Fallout 4. I fucks with Bethesda. Heavy. I fucks with them heavy. No complaints here. No complaints. They're still on the straight and narrow path with Zobie 70. Probably the only Western developers I, I fuck with. Square Enix is opening their own shit. Square Enix can do that. They a motherfucker, yo. Square Enix, Square Enix is working right now, yo. You know what I'm saying? Square Enix is working. They can come and show off the shit that we already know. Like Star Ocean. You know what I'm saying? Star Ocean 5. We all want to see that. We want to see We want to see if this Cedia is going to be... I said this shit too. I said, let's wait till E3. I think Sony's like, yo. Sony, Sony. I think Square Enix is like, yo, I'm so excited, Sony. I want to show you all this shit, right? I think Sony's like, yo, let's wait till E3 to, to surprise these niggas. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead and just, just give us a few clues and trinkets right now. Go ahead and show Star Ocean 5. But I think, like, when we get to E3, I think they're going to say, Dissidia, come into the PlayStation 4, yo. When Capcom gets there, Capcom, Dragon Age, uh, uh, Dragon's Dogma, excuse me, online, come into the PlayStation 4. That's what I think. But check it out. Square Enix, a Japanese company, Japanese developer. J Japan is taking over, ain't they? It's coming to E3. This is going to be a nice long video, and I like this. It's coming to E3 to show off what they got. They've been working, you know. They're excited. You got the Star Ocean 5, Kingdom Hearts. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, I'm thinking at E3. Don't, listen, quote me on this. I'm thinking at E3, they take away the Xbox One version, make it a PS4 exclusive. What do you think? What do you, do you think that's going to happen? That's one of my demands for E3. Uh, we're going to do our demands video in the PlayStation podcast sometime in the future. So you want to take a, keep a close eye on that. Sony, you know, E3 predictions. I wouldn't say this week, but I want to get closer to, to the, you know what I'm saying? Kingdom Hearts. I think they're removing it for Xbox One because Final Fantasy Type-0 came out. And the, the sales were just abysmal. I think they only sold 700 copies on the Xbox One compared to the 88,000 million copies on the PlayStation 4. Pathetic. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that the Xbox fanboys are not supporting. I love it. I fucking love it. I want Japan to see this so they can say, you know what? Middle finger to the Xbox. We ain't sending shit they way. Every nigga is... Check it out. But... Square Enix going to E3, I think, is going to be dope. I mean, Square Enix coming to E3 is basically 
another PlayStation conference. This is going to be all PlayStation games. <laughs> They're going to be like all PlayStation exclusive. Even so, even if it's multi-plats, fuck it. You know, bring me the bring me the fucking Japanese games. But it's going to be another separate conference. This is what I would like. I'm going to do a prediction video right now, and we're going to do it again later. This is what I would like to see. Final Fantasy XII HD Remix coming to the PlayStation 3 and 4. Dissidia coming to the PlayStation 4. Star Ocean 5 coming to the States. PlayStation 4 exclusive. Final Fantasy VII Remake coming to the PlayStation 4. When is my Final Fantasy PC port coming? Come on now. I want that now. I want to go on live, Twitch stream, playing with the cool nerds. I'm in there. I'm entertaining on the Twitch, playing Final Fantasy VII, going over the characters, breaking down the history and the lore because some of you dumb motherfuckers don't know shit about it, yo. Don't know shit about Final Fantasy VII, but some of you are changing your names to be the characters off of Final Fantasy VII, but I guarantee if I quiz you right now, you wouldn't know shit. Wouldn't know shit. That's a promise. Anyway, let me get out of here, man. This video is going way too long, but I'm excited. I can't wait for the Square Enix E3 press conference. Things gonna be dope, man. Things. The PlayStation Four is an amazing console, man. Fucking amazing. I, I can't believe how. I can't believe how. They follow Zobie's Heavenly's plan, and then shit is just disguises the fucking limit for Sony. And that's all you had to do was follow Zobie's Heavenly's plan. Like that's what makes me so much more superior than everybody else. When I was making my bashing videos, you can go back and watch them. I was giving Sony the blueprint since day one. I was giving them the KRS One. KRS One already made the blueprint first, Jay Z. Zobie 70 was already giving you the blueprint first. Sony? Sony went back to the blueprint. All the PlayStation 2 bros officially had dicks in their mouths. Looking like a bunch of jackasses. I stand alone on top of the fucking pyramid. Every nigga is a star. <laughs> Every nigga is a star. <laughs> Every nigga is a star. <laughs>